Hey guys, it's Malik on Fleet 3.0. We're back at it with Madden 19 Fantasy Draft. We're the London Black Knights. We're going against the Washington Redskins. You know, this is division rivalry. We're three and one. We're doing good. We got that number one defense, though. We all know that. Number one defense. We just. Oh my god, this is unbelievable how good this defense is right now. Just imagine when I had to get like better players, then this defense would be unstoppable. It's girly power. It's the coach. This is Madden 19, and it's the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, running back Todd Gurley. Fresh off a standout performance a week ago, as it'll be the Washington Redskins as they get set to square off against our home team. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, you are Brandon Godden. And Charles Day. Okay, Coach, thank you. We are about 4,300 miles away from you there in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England. But see, a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Washington right, Redskins and the London no. Black Knights. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Londoners as they get ready here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Redskins, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three in the last four. The all-pro safety, Eric Berry, in on the stop. I can't help it. Every time I see Eric Berry make a play, as we just saw him make a tackle there, I, I just want to stand up and applaud. Because he went to Tennessee like you? Well, that, that doesn't hurt one bit, <laughs> but how about the comeback? I mean, he came back from, from beating cancer and getting back to pro bowl level. One of the best players in the game. <gasps> no! No! No, he was open. I see Marvin trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do. I gotta do that play again. He was open. Come on, Rogers. Throwing his Rogers on third down. The kid hits complete. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It's a nine yard game, and it keeps the drive moving. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Ohio, Ohio. Right, I'm going to do that play one more time. Black Rail, Black Rail. <laughs> Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Camille. And he's gone. Touchdown. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. His third touchdown now on the year. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. Well, he's used to running at that distance here. He had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Let's go, defense. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. The numbers on the ground for Gurley last week. 
19 carries, 85 yards, and a touchdown. He's having a nice season, and he knows where he ranks in the league. Don't ever let a running back tell you that they don't know that. They do. So what he's doing now is lobbying the offensive coordinator all week long. Hey, how about a few more touches? He's one big game. Oh, he caught that? The 35. A gain of what? that time. I'd have to say that whenever you see no. a good post route run, he caught that. They do not like to let it in it's without the dumb. catch. Hence that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it. And he got it. <laughs> On first down, it's good. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. I know when I was a kid, I always get real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That probably got swallowed up. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll take this one down to the 36. He'll get a couple yards back, but not more than that. They'll be left with 12 yards to go on third down. Defensively, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score give yourself a good you give yourself a better chance to win. So good pick, Joseph. That's what I'm talking about. Number one defense. His guys will get the football back. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put the defense in a really tough spot. They start to drive on the ground. Camaro. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. So we play one quarter here on a Monday night. 7 nothing is our score. We're back to historic London, England right after this. That should have been a pig, though. That first one. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not using your iPhone. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it's London football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. <laughs> now a pitch out to Kamara. He and caught him? him down at Who's the that? Lawrence, bro. I don't mean you should be gone, bro. But we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yard runs, and goes to one of those. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll go option on second down, right side. Oh, I do too. That's just shy of a 40 to mark it down at the 39. Had a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worry about the quarterback getting hit. But when you call it the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to the booth right after this. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. He's going to air one out. <gasps> Bro! Ball's incomplete. Like no! Position there, but he couldn't hold on to the second down. That was a touchdown, Bro. Look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field. That was a touchdown. A big blade of grass. Allowed them to disrupt the so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. <laughs> now Rodgers to throw again. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, 
but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. Rogers going on third and long. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49 yard line. Only two on the screen pass there. Freaking Brown cut the ball like he was supposed to in this week. He's trying to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. A look at Washington. That should have been touchdown. If he won the ball. Last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, no chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. William Hayes. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. A shotgun snap for Smith. God damn. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, but we just saw there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. With it is Brown. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19 yard return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over for the first and 10 on the short side of the field. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. That'll that's bring him second bad. down. Uh, it's always a battle. Who's going to win on first bad. down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and have second down. Rodgers now to throw. This is caught by Antonio Brown. Come on, Brown. Can you be faster? Seven yard line. Big play there just before halftime, and even 40 yards. <laughs> Shotgun now for Rodgers. And if you have to block for me, block for me, please. That's what I ask for. And a timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Oh, and it's caught. Touchdown. Delaney Walker in the final seconds of the first half. And his guys find a way to stretch that's that lead. Talking. And that's a league that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead. And you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, Let's see if they decide to kind of squid kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff. You don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Uh, and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we're at halftime here on a Monday night, as it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll start over at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. 
where you see the final score there. Russell Wilson, two touchdown passes as his guys remain unbeaten. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were winners in that one as they defeat the visiting Seattle Seahawks. 17-6, your final score. Finally, we head to the shores of Lake Erie. See what's going on with the Cleveland Browns. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. Kirk Cousins leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team. Of Brandon All right, let's Adrian. get started. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back number three as they say here in london all to play for as we are back underway in the second half this will be taken to the back of the end zone now the redskins offense they get set to go back to work here they come out here with a zero on the scoreboard what was said in that locker room that's what i want to know i would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people are upset. But typically, the halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or do they think that they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. <laughs> On first and ten, Smith. Flushed out right. Oh, Down. Can you injure him or make him fumble? Why you admire anyone trying to pick up an additional couple of yards? They're just not worth it when you take shots like that. Quarterbacks have to stay in the game and stay on the field. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed is that's going to move the chains. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. From the 50 of Smith. Got it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And now off to the races. Down the right side. And it's a touchdown. Number one defense. Remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Did you just hear that, guys? Even the game said the number one defense. Put the balls in the air. They treated like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So look at Washington as they come onto the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. It's going to be better with the football on this possession. Last night didn't bother you too much, right? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan. And start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just two ears back and get after them now. And blocked down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I'm just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. No one defense. carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but. Oh, I thought that would be another pick. Somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. First target, first catch, and a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. 
found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in London. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Smith on first down. Kaplan reels it in over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to, or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? Not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. They could get it done, but guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. Here's Smith now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. What? About three, five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game down. for them, but it's also a reaction game. And they reacted poorly on that one. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. I don't get what they were getting. This defense is played. They're like pitching a shutout, and zero. so it would be fun to watch down the stretch to see if their defensive coordinator continues to be as aggressive as he's been all game long. Out of the gun, Smith. Let's go! Great pick, man. That was great. That was clean. After it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on to. No doubt about it. They are excited about where they are in this game. A big seam and he might go all the way. And a great effort there. An 80-yard touchdown. This, this has been a great game. ...to take care of the extra point. Extra point splits the uprights, and it is 28-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Let's go. Y'all resorting to penalties? But all for not on the penalty. That's too bad. Well, Isn't it? I'm dirty. Good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Now that's a gain of six on the first down run. 
And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a bat. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. I got slide, 80. I got on second down, here's Smith. Over the middle, complete. It's Doyle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he'll get the top pass to 45 to the 47. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. From the 39 now, they'll this come was up a good on the first and 10. This is a sweet one. On first down, Smith. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. From the red zone now, Smith. They'll throw underneath for Gurley. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Now all everything here, we're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun, here's Smith. Oh, I was about to say, if he caught oh, he that. Drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like an I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Now Smith. Come on, man. I just want to shut out. You're killing me. Exercise and futility right now. Still down big. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And that touchdown there, not going to get him a win. It makes things a little more respectable. Yeah, a little more palatable going out in this ball game. A little something to build on going into the next game. But it won't alter the final score. Man, I really want to shut out. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Now this offense ready to head back out there. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. Trying to get out of the game his first hand, um, And that's all they're going to want to do now, to put someone back deep. Get the game. Game wire. But all in all, this take season. the snap, kneel down, first and smile. shake hands. Yes, get out of there. On second down, Camara. God dang it. They will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And what are the whistles for? Timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. On third down, here's Camara. And he'll get it up near the 30. Yep, and that's one thing. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. He's going deep for Brown. And this is going to be incomplete. The 
tough. Well, that was, that was a good try, but we got the dub. We're four and one. You know who the MVP is again? The defense. But I will give a little credit to Al Kamara. Like he did very good this game. Defense always a plus. Offense kind of did something in this game. All right, we gonna flip three point oh out. Like and subscribe.